In China, there's a remarkable story unfolding in the world of wind turbines. Just a few weeks ago, the China Three Gorges Corporation did something incredible. They built the biggest wind turbine ever, with a rotor that stretches a whopping 827 feet across. That's like the length of two football fields. But they didn't stop there. This week, they managed to outdo themselves. They installed an even larger wind turbine called the Mai SE 16-260, and its rotor is a massive 853 feet in diameter. That's even bigger than the first one. It's like a giant windmill that stands tall and proud. The world's largest and most powerful wind turbine is now operational. The 16-megawatt wind turbine, the Mai SE-16-260, is located at the Mingyang Qingzhou 4 offshore wind farm in the South China Sea. This technology has come a long way since way back in 1888, when a man named Charles Brush built the very first wind turbine in his backyard in Ohio. Now, the Mai SE-16-260 has a central tower that reaches almost 500 feet into the sky. That's almost as tall as the Washington Monument. And guess what? The generator inside this colossal turbine weighs a whopping 385 metric tons. That's like having more than 100 elephants in there. Every time the turbine completes a full revolution, it sweeps about 540,000 square feet of air, which is equivalent to about seven soccer fields, and sends up to 34.2 kilowatt of energy into the Chinese power system. With a rotor of 853 feet, the turbine can produce 67 gigawatt hours of power every year. According to Mingyang Smart Energy, that is enough power to supply green electricity to 80,000 residents and reduce carbon emissions by 56,000 tons annually. The Mai CE 16260 is reportedly able to withstand extreme wind speeds of 178.5 miles per hour. This is necessary given the wind farm's location. Over 200 days a year, the Guangdong province experiences level 7 near gale conditions, with winds exceeding 32 miles per hour. But here's the real kicker. This wind turbine is tough as nails. It can take on typhoon force winds, which are incredibly strong and scary. This is especially important in the Taiwan Strait, where the winds can get wild, with speeds that go way above 32 miles per hour. Just last week, a big typhoon named Talem hit China. and this turbine faced its very first test. Most of China's coastal areas are in typhoon zones, and if there is no wind turbine that can withstand typhoons, it can be said that wind power has little future in China, says Qiying Zhang, who's the chief technology officer at Mingyang Smart Energy. The turbine passed the test with flying colors. Even though Typhoon Talim brought winds that roared at speeds of up to 85 miles per hour, the Mai SE 16260 is designed to handle winds up to a staggering 178.5 miles per hour. That's more than double what it faced last week. And here's another cool thing. All the turbines in the growing wind farm in the Taiwan Strait are super smart. They each have 1,000 intelligent sensors that can respond proactively during a typhoon. So it's not just big, it's smart too. In China, they're not just building wind turbines. They're building giant wind warriors that can generate clean energy even when the weather gets wild. It's an incredible feat of engineering that's making the world a cleaner and greener place. In the United States, they're not just watching as China builds enormous wind turbines. They're taking action too. General Electric is working hard to develop an 18 megawatt turbine. That's a lot of power. In fact, back in March, they announced that they already have a staggering $6 billion in orders for their Haliadi X turbine technology. According to General Electric, Haliadi X will be a game changer in wind energy technology. This incredible machine was the first of its kind, with a massive 14 megawatt capacity. That's a whole lot of power. And what's even more impressive is that it's been operating for over two years in Rotterdam, a city in the Netherlands. That means it's not just a concept, it's a real working turbine. But here's the thing that makes the Haliadi X stand out even more. It's not just a one-trick pony. It can produce 12, 13, or 14 megawatts of power. That's like having different gears on a bike, but for generating electricity. And it has a rotor that stretches 220 meters across, with blades that reach a staggering 107 meters. That's almost as long as a football field. What's more, 
It's been independently certified to handle winds and typhoon conditions. That's a big deal because it means it's a safe bet for investors and customers looking to finance wind energy projects. Not only that, but it has a capacity factor that's 60-64% higher than the industry standard. Now, what's a capacity factor, you ask? Well, it's like measuring how well a car is used. If you drove your car at full speed all the time, that's like having a high capacity factor. And the Haliadi X is like a car that's really efficient at using its power, even when the wind isn't blowing super strong. This amazing turbine can do some serious work. One of them, just one, can generate a whopping 74 gigawatt hours of energy in a year. To put that in perspective, it's like taking 11,000 vehicles off the road for a whole year when it comes to reducing carbon dioxide emissions. That's like making a big dent in helping our planet stay clean and green. The Hullietti X isn't just a wind turbine, it's a clean energy superhero, spinning its way towards a greener future. You see, making electricity with turbines is all about size. The bigger the rotor on the turbine, the more wind energy it can capture. And when it captures more wind energy, it reduces the cost of the electricity it generates. It's like getting more bang for your buck. That's why the U.S. Department of Energy has a simple rule when it comes to wind turbine tech. The bigger, the better. But here's the interesting part. It's not just the United States in this race. Europe and Asia are also in the game, and they're all racing to create even bigger and better turbines. It's like a competition to see who can build the most powerful wind machines. The number of wind turbines has grown increasingly in recent years. According to the International Energy Agency, wind electricity generation increased by a record 265 terawatt in 2022, growing 14%. This was the second highest growth among all renewable power technologies behind solar PV. Notably, China was responsible for half of global wind capacity additions in 2022, with 37 gigawatt of wind energy added in the year. The European Union is also accelerating wind deployment, adding 13 gigawatt in 2022, with plans to invest more in the industry. In the United States, the Inflation Reduction Act is expected to give a massive boost to the industry in the coming years. The 800 megawatt Vineyard Wind One project has already begun to be constructed off of Martha's Vineyard in Massachusetts. Once it comes online in 2024, this will be the first commercial scale offshore wind farm in the United States. So, while the MyC260 from China might be the biggest for now, it probably won't stay that way for long. The world is constantly pushing the limits to build turbines that can capture more wind and generate more clean energy. This race to build the best wind turbines is a bit like a history of competition. But instead of battles and wars, it's a competition to make the world a cleaner, greener place. And that's a race worth running. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to our channel to stay updated on upcoming mega projects. See you in the next video.